Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, as you can tell by the vlog style, um, I'm gonna be going out and I'm gonna be taking you guys on a date to one of the final and last authentic drive-in movie theaters in Florida. The classic American drive-in movie theater was patented in 1933 by Richards Hollyhead in New Jersey. He came up with a solution where he wanted to give a more comfortable option to watch a movie. It wasn't until the 1950s when drive-in theaters became a very popular form of entertainment and has been existing ever since. Um, they opened in 1952. I think drive-in theaters should be popular more now than ever because of COVID, it's safer. And Tom and Jerry just came out, so that's what we're gonna go watch. Let's go ahead and go. We were on our way. It actually took us a little bit over one hour to get there, so it was quite the drive, but that's just because it was located a few towns away in a very small little town named Ruskin, Florida, and it was honestly such a beautiful drive anyway, so it was worth it, and we made it, so that's very exciting. <laughs> So we waited about 30 to 40 minutes for them to properly open up and get everything running, but it was worth the wait. <laughs> How you doing today? Good, good. good. Two tonight? Yes, ma'am. Any outside food, drinks, or cooler, huh? Uh, any what? Outside food, drinks, or cool? Oh, no. no. Twelve dollars. Okay. Yeah. Eighty-nine point three FM. You gotta remember that. Eighty-nine point three FM. Yeah. Got it. That's the radio station. Thank you with the radio station. Okay. Eight and two tickets. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy the movie. You have a good one now. They would light the, the parking until the movie was ready, but it's like super yeah, pitch black. Yeah, we got front row. Especially when so similar to a regular theater, they have food and a concession stand. So we grabbed a lot of stuff off this menu to try. So we got two hot dogs, a cheeseburger, nachos. Um, I don't think we get out to order, do we? No, I th there. Yeah, there is a building right there. And you walk up and you get it and you get back in your car. Are you sure? I think back they in just the deliver it to you. Back in the day, they used to do that. That's what all I, these posts are for. You ding the fucking posts. You think they they do delivery with COVID and all that? Girl, I don't know. I'm from 2000s. All right, I live in 2021. <laughs> I don't live in 1950s. I don't I don't know anything I mean, about this. I mean, yeah, stuff. typically at a drive-in, you you would get your food delivered to you. But with COVID, I. I think you walk up with a mask instead. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna go classic. I'm gonna, get a, I'm gonna get a Coke. I'm getting a root beer. Ooh, that's even more classic. Nice. Mm -hmm. So now that we know what we want to eat, it is time to go get the food. Oh my God, that car is so that's cool. Man, you can buy. That's dope. That's a beauty. What year is it? Wow. wow. Huh. All right. Yeah. So this is where you get food. And use the bathroom if you need it. So the concession stand was so cute. It still had its 1950s charm. It was pastel. It had the movies that were available to watch. And of course, you could see all the prices of the food, which definitely are much more expensive than in the 1950s. I'm sure a cheeseburger in the 50s would have been like 20 cents. Um, but it is still very authentic, and it was really cool to see that. Hi. Um, we've 
got quite an order. Could we get the one cheeseburger meal? Okay. Um, one hot dog, or, oh, how did you want to do that? One hot dog meal and then an extra hot dog. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. I smile, but you can't tell. <laughs> So it roughly took about 15 minutes to get our order. They were very busy and packed, so no surprise there. But now we're ready to go eat our food. This burger's pretty good. Small, but good. Yeah, the hot dogs are like a 12 pack you get for like $2. <laughs> yeah. Same with the burger. So to be quite honest, the food was the most underwhelming part of this experience. <laughs> rules of conduct. No alcohol, no drugs, no rowdiness allowed in this theater. This is the theater where each and every person is expected as well as required as part of the admission price for entering this theater to respect the rights of each and every other person in the theater to hear and see the movie in peace and quiet. I broadcast on 89.3 FM if you'd like to use your radios to listen to the movie. And those who have any of your party tonight you sitting outside your vehicle, please do not let them sit or lie in the empty parking places in between the vehicles. Please put them directly in front of your vehicle where they'll be safer from incoming traffic later in the evening. Thank you. Now, I was super impressed by how clear the screen was, how clear the audio was coming from the radio. That blew my mind. And I'm so glad that they're playing Tom and Jerry out of all the movies. Usually they play modern movies, not vintage ones. So I thought that that was gonna be a letdown. But because Tom and Jerry is a vintage franchise, it was the perfect movie to watch at a drive-in theater. Now, I will say the downside is when someone turns on their headlights. So, so annoying, but luckily they turned it off after. Now overall, my experience was very positive. It is cheaper than the average movie theater. It's safer, it's far more comfortable, more private, and I honestly had a blast. So this was such a great experience and I'm glad I did it. Make sure to visit your local drive-in theaters. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style type of video. If you guys wanna go on more of my adventures, my vintage adventures or princess adventures, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so I can see you in my next one.